you. Connor is a boy whose love for Shedlin comes across in every page of this novel. I expect great things from Connor. I'm going to sneak away. We need to talk. Right, later. I got a concerned call from a Rachel Cairns. The son, uh, Connor, hasn't returned home. Personally, I think we're panicking over nothing. So where is he, Danny? No tension between you and Connor. No. It is possible that Connor Cairns has left Shetland of his own volition, but we can't be sure. Oh, come on. Connor. This is now a high-risk case. Danny Cairns is an ex-cop. Convicted on corruption charges. Served two years. I stole drugs from a young drug dealer called Pepper Waldron. It backfired. He was killed. Connor. I swear she didn't do anything to that boy. I just wanted to get my free. Just find my son! Ali Sounder is picking up something with the bomb is thrown in his bowl. They're bringing it up now. Oh, Jesus Christ. It isn't Connor. Hi, Rachel. We're still waiting for forensics, but at the moment, we've got no reason to think that the body we discovered last night is in any way connected with Connor's disappearance. But Connor might have been attacked by the same person who killed this man. There's nothing to suggest that. Well, how can you say that? You don't even know who this man is, do you? What about Pepper's family? They arrive on the islands just as my son goes missing. That's just a coincidence. Uh, they were looking for you. The rest is just mind games. They wanted to frighten you, and they won't be bothering you again. You let them go? There was no evidence to suggest they had any meaningful contact with Connor. What about running Abby off the road? That's attempted murder. What are you thinking, Perez? I'm trying to focus all of our resources on finding Connor. The Waldrons are a waste of time. Oh, and that's your call, is it? It is. No. Can you think of anyone who had a grudge against Connor? It made a big mistake, Paris. They're involved in this. There was a couple that Connor had a run in with. He worked with them for a while, but they let him go. And I, I don't know what it was about, but I know that they had words. It was nothing. Can you remember the name? Davidson Disposal. I need some help. This is a joke. I know, it's difficult, but you have to trust me. I'm very hopeful of finding Connor alive. Well, don't take this personally, but I think I'll just keep looking for him myself. Okay. Danny. I'm going to need you to come into the station to give a statement. About what? About your past. And I'm going to need all the details of your police history, because if there's somebody else out there who's got a problem with you, then I'm going to need to know about it. I can come in later. Danny Cairns. Listen, I'm going to need a day off.
Whenever we wait for an ID on the body from Stromness, we need to trace that suitcase. Where was it bought and by whom? Sandy, what's the word on the forensics? Being in seawater means there's no chance of fingerprints, but we do have some fibres and there's some paint smears and some possible chemical stains. No other locals have been reported missing, so we're thinking a tourist or a transient worker. Billy, keep looking in the vault. We need to make sure there's nothing else down there. Look, let's just keep focused on Connor. Why did he leave his scooter out there? And is there foul play involved? Tosh, I want you to go and speak to the people at Davidson Disposal. Apparently they had some issues with Connor. Sandy, let me have a look at that. Thanks. Can I help you? I am here to ask a few questions about Connor Cairns. I understand he worked for you for a bit. I can ask when you last saw him. The day we let him go. Why did you need to do that? It was unreliable. Didn't take it well. I don't want to speak ill of people, but he was an arrogant little so-and-so. Can I ask where you were on Sunday evening? Yeah, together. Why are you asking? I was just trying to eliminate you from your inquiries. Could you both make a statement to that effect? Whatever you need. Even though I didn't like the boy, I hope you find him soon. I wouldn't wish losing a son on Empty's family. The search dogs. Maybe they're over the other side of the floor. They're giving up on them, aren't they? No, I'm sure that's not the case. Well, some people obviously think this is a lost cause. I don't. I promise you'll tell me if he contacts you. I know, I know what we agreed, but things are different now. Listen, I'm not feeling that great. I'm gonna head back. Come with me if you want. <sighs> no, no, it's okay. Sure? Yeah. Any word for the divers? Still nothing. And I don't think we're going to have them much longer. Did you say Danny Cairns was coming in for an interview today? I did. Well, I just got a call from Gavin at the Sumbara security desk. And he's pretty sure he saw him getting on a flight to Glasgow this morning. I'll find him. Rachel had no idea that he was planning to travel, but she thinks that he might have gone to see Connell's ex. Billy, find out where I can find Lynn Henderson and then get me on the next flight to Glasgow. I'm on it. Good all passengers arriving in air, please take all their belongings and do not leave any. So we'll see you in six weeks. Thanks again, Jill. Jesus. Not quite. OK. OK, thanks for that. That was Cora.
The DNA they got from the body. It's drawn a blank on the database. <sighs> okay. Widen the search, talk to Interpol, and try consumer sites like Family Tree. <laughs> You're a hairdresser now. <laughs> no, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> what can I say? It's nice to do a job where people want to talk to you. <laughs> Just let's face it, I was never cut out for the police. You were always a good cop. <laughs> and you were always a shit liar. <laughs> and what about you? I heard you were running a hotel up north somewhere. Shetland, and it's just the B&B, but Rachel always fancied the country life, and I felt the order, you know. You happy? We were. Connor's gone missing. Possibly abducted. Abducted? By who? You remember Nicole Waldron? <sighs> her and her dad were in Shetland the day Connor disappeared. Did you go to the police? <laughs> the local plot just had a word with him and let him leave. And you think that they've taken him, the Waldrons? Well, they must be involved. It's too much of a coincidence for them not to be. If they took Connor, You've got to stay out of it. I just need to know where they are. Hi. <laughs> hey. Mind me. Are you old now? Fine, I suppose. Listen, if you if you knew where Connor was, you would tell me, wouldn't you? What do you mean? No, you wouldn't have to tell anyone else. It would just stay between us. I don't know where he is. Honest. Okay. He's been hit on the head, but it wouldn't have been fatal. Particular hemorrhages in the eyes indicate suffocation. The fingertips were removed after death, and I would say he's been in the water a few weeks. Uh, we could try a post-mortem depiction. Dundee University can do a facial reconstruction. Yeah. Yeah, OK. I <laughs> think we're going to need all the help we can get. Cutting off the fingertips. Are we talking about someone who's killed before? Hard to say. But they aren't squeamish, that's for sure. Lynn Henderson, I'm D.I. Perez. I'm looking for Connor's dad. Why would his dad come to see me? Because he was looking for Connor. But I haven't seen Connor. He visited you a few weeks ago. I meant since then. OK. How did he seem when he visited you? I don't know. He was weird. It was like he didn't want to visit but felt he had to. Look, Connor's mum and dad seem to think that his recent problems were caused by the breakup of your relationship. That's not true. Connor had other stuff going on. It's no secret he had issues with his dad. And then there was the guys he started hanging about with. Who were those guys? I don't know their names. Connor said they were all pals of his dad. But I know he was scared of them. Sorry, excuse me. Billy. Danny Cairns Bank just flagged up a transaction at the Glasgow Central Station ticket office. You had an idea where he was going to? He's in here. And guess where the Waldrons live? It's 
Sorry, I can only give you five minutes. One of those days. No problem. I heard something went wrong up in Shetland. I just assumed Danny Cairns had screwed up again. Well, we don't know that he hasn't. But we do know that he's an heir. And do you know why? It could be that he's gone after Nicole and Cameron Waldron. They were on the aisles when Connor disappeared. So the Waldrons kidnapped Connor? Danny thinks they did. Or at least that they were involved. All right. Are they in danger? I'd say that Danny will do whatever it takes to get his son back home. All right. We'll put an alert out on Cairns and send a unit over to the Waldrons. Thanks for letting me know. No, I, I would like to go with the unit. Best if we handle it. We'll let you know if we catch up with Cairns. Meanwhile, no doubt you have a flight to catch. Well, unfortunately, I've missed the last one tonight. So it looks like I'm going to be staying over. But I do have some work to do. So if you've got a spare desk out there. Sure. Street. But you move after you got Pepper killed. Wasn't a lifestyle choice. What do you want, Cairns? I want to know where my boy is. He's not here. You're welcome to check if Where's you want. Who's fucking no? Not letting this murdering scumbag walk around my house. You do know that I wasn't the one who actually killed your cousin. He's dead because of you. Because you're a greedy, bent cop bastard. Well, your rage is really that bad that you had to resort to selling drugs. Yeah, I wasn't planning on selling them. I stole your cousin's drugs because I, I wanted to force his hand. We'd been watching him for months because we were trying to turn him. Pepper never would have grasped. Which is why I stole his drugs. So I, I figured without the drugs or the money to pay his suppliers, he'd, he'd be vulnerable. He'd have no choice but to, to come to us and, and give us names. That was a fucking stupid plan! Ah, no! It's unbelievably stupid. I don't know what I was thinking it was. I was under pressure to get a result. So you're right. It was my fault. I, I got him killed. And for that, I'm, I'm truly sorry. So if you want to put a hole in me, just go ahead. But don't punish my son. He's, he's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Nicole. Mm. Right, there's only one shop in Larwick that sells a suitcase like the one we took from Stromnesbo. I got a list of everyone who bought one and paid by card. Murray Rankin's on it. The librarian. But he knows Connor. Could he be a link? Let's find out. I did have a suitcase like that one. But I gave it away to a charity shop. Which charity shop? The one that used to be in the high street. Oh, it's gone now. Did you get a receipt for it? 
Uh, no, I, I just, just left it. What's this? Well, well I, I, I like to keep a record of the books people borrow so that I can make recommendations. You seem to have an awful lot of information here. Addresses, jobs, hobbies, you need all that? It's just me, I'm a wee bit OCD. You do know it's against the law to keep information without consent? Connor Cairns gets a file all to himself. Can you explain that? I, I don't understand. Why are you asking me all these questions? Well, the thing is, Murray, you're kind of acting a bit suspicious. A suitcase the same as yours that you can't account for has turned up with a body in it and you're keeping tabs on Connor Cairns like you're the FBI. Is there anything else you're not telling us? We had a coffee in the library cafe before the swim. So you lied to us. I forgot. He forgot? That's what he says. Do you believe him? I don't know. He's really scared. It could be that he's hiding something. Could be that he's connected to both cases, but I'm going to get a search team over to his house and get him in for an interview. How's it going in here? Any luck finding Danny Cairns? Local police are out looking for him. I'm sitting my hands. DC, I made it very clear that I was to stay out of it. So much for cooperation, eh? Yeah, not sure about her. I managed to pull down a file on Danny and that dealer. Oh, Pepper Walden? And? And something doesn't add up. Sorry about the gut punch. I'll live. If, if you know who's behind this, tell me. Just, just help me find him. Please. We weren't the only ones angry at you about Pepper. That stash that you stole. It belonged to his suppliers. Serious people. Not to be messed with. No, I mean, they wouldn't come after me after all this time. We did. How are you holding up? I'm beginning to lose hope, to be honest with you, Jamie. I took my eye off the ball. You can't blame yourself, Rachel. Sometimes in life, there are things you just can't control. But making sure your kids are OK, that's a given, isn't it? I need now I've failed. I think we should head back, Rachel. Don't you? Yeah. Tosh, there's a notebook here. Looks like it belonged to Connor. There's a drawn of Murray in it. Okay, get it swabbed for prints and DNA. It might be a link to the suitcase. I'll let the boss know. Oh, Christ. This will be all our lyric in a minute. I'll make some tea. Yes. This is for you. Oh, my lens. I thought I'd get a new one for my trip to Musa. This is perfect. 
Why are you still here? What do you mean? I mean, all the other guests have checked out. Nobody wants to spend their holiday watching a family fall apart. <laughs> no one except you. Do, do you want me to go? No, it's just... I don't get it. You joined the search party, you're making me tea. I just don't get it. There's nothing to get. Well, your son is missing and I wanted to help. Okay. Well, thank you. D.A. Perez, are you still in here? Yeah. I was just wondering if um, there's any word on Danny Cairns. We haven't found him, I'm afraid. And we haven't managed to speak to the Waldrons yet. Right, well, on that subject, I had a read of the Waldron's case. Oh, really? You arrested Danny Cairns based on information you got from an anonymous tip-off, is that right? That's right. So somebody just phoned in and fingered Danny Cairns. That's a bit odd, don't you think? Not as odd as finding a kilo of heroin in Cairns' freezer. This is old news. Leave us alone. Good night, D.I. Perez. For God's sake. Melanie. I need your help. You must be joking. The Pepper Waldron case. I need to know where Matty Walker is. No way. They might have Connor. I doubt it. You're deluded, Danny. Oh, come on. So you've given up stealing from dealers and want to play a good cop now? There was pressure on us even before the stunt you pulled. You'll have no help from me, Danny. Or the department. You were the one who told me to get Waldron to flip. Didn't you, Melanie? I didn't tell you to rob him. No, but you knew I was going to. And then you had the search team at my front door within hours of them finding Waldron's body. I got a tip. No, you guessed Waldron was killed because of the drugs I stole to you. You handed me to them on a plate to save your own skin. I'm calling my units. Oh, it's all right, I don't blame you. I was the one in the wrong. Hi, this is DCI Reed. There's a man outside my flat. He's harassing Melanie, me. Melanie, oh, please. They've assaulted me. No, it's fine, he's gone. This is Connor. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Okay, enough's enough. Either you talk to me or I talk to the police. Gonna switch it on. I can't be sure they won't track it. You can use mine if you like. You probably should call Rachel. No, I can't talk to her right now. How are things with you two? I don't know. I seem to spend most of my time trying to make up for everything that happened, but I don't think it'll ever be enough. Anyway, what about you? You're on your own here. What's that about? It's life. <laughs> what about your brother? Frank? Oh, moved out years ago. He's in Sheffield now. He's got a girlfriend. And he's clean. Good for him. Oh, he's been clean for two years. He's like a different person. Getting out of air was the best thing for him. Ah, I remember he was a worry to you. So, what's the next move? I need to find Waldron's supplier, Matty Walker. How are you going to do that? I don't know. Shake a few trees that Pepper used to climb. Well, I'd best let you get to bed. All right. 
Thanks again for letting me crash. Danny, after your arrest, I stayed clear, left your hind dry. I should have been a better partner. I'm sorry. That was my fault, Jill. Murray, Murray, wake up! What? How did you get... Why were the police searching your house? Well, Rachel, wait, I mean, I, I haven't done anything. Then why were they searching your house? Well, they wanted to know about a, a, a suitcase that I gave to a charity shop, that's all. What exactly is your connection to my son? He was here practically every day. Nobody reads books that fast. He does. I mean, you know him better than I do. He was your son. Was. Was my son. No, no, no wait a minute. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean that. I meant he is your son. He, he's your son. So ask him. Mr Rankin, I need you to come to the station. Why is he going to the station? Did he do something to Connor? This is Cairns. I'm sorry, but you need to let us handle this. Join you. I just keep thinking about the last time that I spoke to him and whether there was something that he said, you know, something that I missed. But everything just seemed so normal. And maybe it was. Perhaps he's just taken off without thinking as a way to take control of his life. Do you know something that I don't? No. I was just thinking how impulsive he is. He's a bit of a free spirit. I know you're running every possible scenario over and over in your mind. Try not to. I don't think I can do that. The thought that I will never see him again or I'll never hear his voice again is just too much for me. I pray you do see him again. But if that's not what happens, don't let it destroy you. You can come through this, Rachel. You can. It's astonishing what we can survive. You think he's dead, don't you? I'm not saying that. I just want you to remember that whatever happens, the pain you're feeling is the price of love. And you had that love. And it will never go away. It's yours. Price of luck. <laughs> I'm Joe Stevens. I'm Di Perez. So what about Pepper Waldron? Everyone seems to think it was a drugs hit. In my experience, drug heads tend to be a wee bit more hands-on. I don't know anything about it. I left the police soon after Danny went down. Poor guy. He was in a terrible state. Jill. When was the last time you saw Danny Cairns? I know. You don't know me. I'm on his side. I'm here to help him. Trust me. He said it mine last night, but he was gone before I woke up. What did he say? That he needed to find Connor, and he wanted the supplier who might have him. I couldn't help. I 
want to see your boss, Matty Walker. Stanny. Danny who? Danny. Danny Cairns. I'm legit. Call your boss, he knows me. Tell him I'm here. Fuck off. Come on. I'm not messing. I want to see Marty Walker. Now. See you later. Hi, it's, uh, it's Brid Fleming. Just thought you should know that there's somebody hanging about the halls. I think it's the woman from Davidson Disposal. It might just be my imagination, but she seems to be watching Abby. Well, thanks for letting us know. We'll keep an eye on her. Rankin's in the interview room. Oh, OK, great. Can you tell us exactly what you talked about at your meeting with Connor the day he disappeared? Oh, nothing important. Can we be the judge of that? Oh, he seemed out of sorts. I wanted to know what was wrong, but he, he didn't want to talk about it. So why didn't you just say that? You worry about him then? His book, I admire him. Even though he's younger than me, he's talented. Has he been to your house recently? No, he's never been. So how come we found a notebook belonging to him there? Did he give it to you? Murray, you've already lied to us once. Don't do it again. You could be connected to two possible crimes here. Did you see Connor after the book launch? No, I went home. Can anyone verify that? No. OK. If you can't explain how that notebook got into your house, I will have no choice but to assume you're hiding something. He left it in the library. I kept it. I had a sketch of me inside. And that meant something to you? It meant a lot to me. Yes. Is that what you and Connor were talking about? What he meant to you? How you felt about him when you met in the cafe? Wondered if it was possible he felt the same way about me as I did about him. I fooled myself into thinking that's why he came to the library so often. To see me. It wasn't unkind. He just said he loved bread. I don't know what I was thinking. I made such a fool of myself. I would never hurt him. Poke the hornet's nest, you get stung, Danny. Matty Walker. You need to go home. Says who? Says the people you're pissing off. Is that the people who have my son? Jesus. Why would we do a thing like that? To get to me. <laughs> I hate to bust your bubble, pal, but you're not that important. What about the drugs? What drugs? The heroin I stole. 
That was years ago. We didn't really care much at the time. You cared enough to kill Pepper? Kidnap him and murder. You really don't think much of us, do you? We'd no reason to kill Pepper. Pepper was a good guy. Smart, too. We were all very sad when he died. He was making a success of himself, expanding the network. You think he was the first guy to lose a package? Or miss a payment? Happens all the time. If we were to go around killing people for that, there'd be nobody left. We knew it wasn't Pepper's fault. We knew your lot had been targeting them for months. She, she killed him. Strange, innit? If your lot thought it was down to us, they never came looking. And from our side, we're sorry about your boy. But it's got nothing to do with us, Danny. Hold on. Nobody knew we were trying to flip Waldrons. Only me and my DCI. Get yeah, out my fucking way. Join up the doors, Danny. We're still waiting on DNA results, but so far we've found no blood and no trace of Connor at Rankin's house. Apart from the notebook. Which Rankin maintains Connor left behind one day in the library. And he kept it as a love token. I mean, I'm not sure Rankin would call it a love token, but he did admit to being infatuated with Connor. OK, so what are your thoughts? I don't know, but I don't think I've got enough to keep him here. However, I think that the Davidsons might be worth another look. Hang on, Tosh. I'm going to need you to stay. It looks like they had a run-in with Sipa around the same time they gave Connor the sack. And Bred thinks that the wife, Sheena, might be stalking Abby Cairns. Keep digging. What the hell do you want? Well, I'm sure Danny's paid you a visit by now, hasn't he? He told us the truth about Pepper. And what's that? Cairns didn't steal the drugs to sell them. He wanted to force Pepper into being an informer. Not that that's any better. Did you see Pepper the day he died? And Nicole was with him. What do you remember? Laughing and joking like he always was. Laughing and joking? Just after somebody had stolen his drugs? Wasn't he worried about that? Said he was going to get them back. Had people that would do that for him. Said he had a contact. Inside the polis. Who? Danny, where are you? She must have been in with Walker. Who? Oh, time she's telling me to turn Pepper. Look, I know that you didn't steal the drugs to sell them. I also know that Pepper Waldron had someone inside your team working for him. It's not just someone, it's a fucking DCI! What? Danny, Danny. Shit. Change of plan. Open this fucking door, Reed! You betrayed me! I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you set me up! You made me think it was all my doing. I lost everything because of you. Everything! Danny, I don't know what you think I've done. You lying! Did you kill Pepper and cover it up? Do you have something on you? No! You're making no sense, Danny. Please leave. Two fucking years surrounded by scum. Blaming myself every day for Pepper's death. Go home, Danny. Back off. 
No. If I get the truth, I'll thank Connor. Are you all right? Is she all right? Who cares? She's a lying traitor. I bet she sold out me and everyone who ever worked for her. No, no. Look, we had a murder on our hands. I had to protect myself, and you were in the wrong. You committed a crime. Waldron did have someone working inside your team, though, right? Christ's sake, it wasn't me. Who else knew about the break-in? time you're working with me, you're answering to Pepper. Why? Frank, of course. You remember how he was? Useless bloody junkie. Well, not that useless. He had a cop for a sister. Waldron couldn't believe his luck when he found out. The dart that he had on Frank. As soon as I helped Pepper once, that was it. He had me. He threatened me. He was becoming a player. I couldn't ignore him. He said that if I didn't keep giving him information, he would turn me in. Hurt Frank so bad he'd never wake up. What happened the night he died? He called me. He told me that someone had stolen his drugs, wanted me to find out who it was. I knew it was you straight away. He was furious when I told him. He was going to kill you. What happened? Yeah. I drove out to meet him. I saw him at the side of the road. And I just thought, I want out. But you're not getting Frank. You're not getting Danny. And I just... I drove straight at him. Killed him. Jesus, Jill. for once protected you and then I got into work the next day and you were in the cell I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry Got Danny. I'm bringing him home tonight, okay? Hi, I can't take your call at the moment. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hey, Meg. It's me. Um, I'm on my way back from Glasgow and I was just wondering if you maybe fancied coming over for dinner tonight and I could cook something. Um, I'd really love to see you if you're free. OK? Bye.
Are you holding up? Well, sure. Last five years have been the worst of my life, and uh, I'm no closer to finding my boy. Danny, I don't know what's happened in your past. I don't think it's got anything to do with Connor's disappearance. Whatever's happened to your boy, the answer lies in his life. It's not yours. You hear me? This is okay. I just kind of flung it together. Oh, it looks lovely. Well, you haven't tasted any of it yet. Just give me a chance. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. You sure? Yeah. What you said at uh, the beach, you were right. That That is what I do. I use my job to keep people at a distance. It, it feels safer, doesn't it? Fran and I were happy. We made each other laugh a lot. We were, we, we, we were great. And, and then it was just, it was taken away like that. And if I'm honest, then I'm, I'm scared about all that. Okay. I understand. How about you? Well, um, it's different for me. Um, my marriage wasn't good. And it didn't end well. Oh, I'm sorry. See, my trouble with men is the dreaded Florence Nightingale syndrome. It's the uniform. Men tend to see me as this perfect woman who's always there to help them, and... But the truth is, I'm just as flawed as they are. And when they get to know the real me, um... Well, it's a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, you see, I find that hard to believe. Okay, so you need to be careful, because that's one of the first symptoms. Okay.
Okay, shut the yard down. Nobody gets in or out. Sorry. It's bread. I'll, I'll call for it out. 